Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm back here for another CC shopping video and today we're going to go ahead and look for some male CC. Now in previous CC shopping videos I have, you know, looked for some male CC but I haven't done a video specifically for that and my CC collection for males is seeming to be a little bit um, limited at the minute and I feel like I'm using the same things all the time so I want to go ahead and look for some more stuff today. So I've got a couple of different websites open here that we're going to take a look at today. So the first one is the uh, Sims resource, which I look at in pretty much every single time I look for CC. Um, I have Mila Simmer CC finds uh, Tumblr website. She is actually a viewer of mine and she um, suggested her this website a few CC shopping videos ago. And I really, really like it. So I'm going to go ahead and look through it. I, if, I don't know if she has like male CC in it, but it's just nicely you know laid out. So I'm going to go ahead and look through that as well. If there is, if there's not, we'll just have a look. Um, but got I just did a generic search on Tumblr as well so I want to look through that got this website here called Spring for Sims um, and I'll, I'll just search like Sims for male CC in uh, Google and it came up with this and I was like wait is this I just thought it was like Stephen but um, like his name isn't quite right anyway so there's that website um, and we've got this one as well which is some sort of um, French name I'm not going to even try to pronounce but um, they seem to do really good male CC and I actually just asked you on Twitter a few minutes ago before I started recording this uh, for links to male CC website and that was one of them there was other one called Citronaut as well which somebody suggested but um that one was actually hang on i've got some stuff in my basket here i can't remember what this is from i think i've downloaded all this stuff yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and delete i think that was from my um coachella inspired video <laughs> that was quite a while ago anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and um Move that. Another thing is that I'm recording this on the 7th of May. You're probably seeing this somewhere in May. I don't know when. Um, I've ended up pre-recording a lot of videos recently, which I wasn't like planning to do. I was just kind of going through and um, just like recording and stuff. And I ended up recording like a full month's worth of videos. So I've got pretty much all my videos done for May. From can't speak for May um, already, which is I don't know. Well, just that's what it is. And um, yeah, so this is probably going up somewhere in May. But what I was going to say is that I actually asked you on Twitter um, a few minutes ago but for you it wouldn't be a few minutes ago uh, for some different um cc links for male cc and um one of them like i was saying was citronaut but i looked through it and i just couldn't really find anything um for males specifically there was like one or two things but i didn't really like it so I just uh, bypassed that for today. Um, but I have done a lot of stuff from Citroen Art in the past. Not male stuff, but um, it is a good website. Um, so, like I said, I'm going to look through uh, these websites today. Um, I was going to do, um, you know, at the end when I go into create a sim and test them out. But I, that's what I normally do. But I might not do that today, actually. And I might just do that um, maybe, like, in a, a separate... Oh, my God, I can't speak. In a separate video because... Um, this was because I was going to do it actually. Well, recently I've been getting lots more requests to do um, male creator sims, and um, I feel like I've been doing a lot more of them recently. But at the same time, I'm starting to run out of CC to using them. So um, today I was going to go on this, and I was thinking that I can maybe look at them at the end in in creator sim like we normally do, or I'll just do a separate creator sim video um, coming up. I don't know when, but you know soon, and uh, test this stuff out. I think that might be a better idea to do. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and search through here a few pages, see if there's anything think that's standing out um, another thing I'm well kind of been deciding recently is if I want to use Maxis match or um, alpha and I just really can't decide if like, like I don't know how maybe a few months ago actually um I said I was going to go over, like, completely, you know, convert over to Maxis Match. And um, I did that. Uh, like, I deleted all my alpha stuff and just started over again with just Maxis Match. And that lasted about a day. <laughs> and then I just started downloading alpha stuff again. I just really, really like alpha. I don't know what, it's just so realistic. But at the same time, it doesn't really fit the game that well, which is a little bit, you know, annoying. Um, but, um, you know, it's just when it's like comes to alpha cc i like it if it's close i don't really mind but when it comes to hairstyles then i kind of prefer maxis match now um if i'm doing like a creator sim video a lot of the time i don't really use it for my own gameplay um if it's a sim that has like in the title have their name in it then that normally tells you that it's going to be part of an lp or from my own gameplay or something but if it's a themed video, I never really use it. So therefore, in themed videos, like my Coachella inspired, my spring inspired videos, that sort of thing, um, I'd just use alpha because I'm not going to use it in my own gameplay. So I might as well just use alpha since I like it. Um, so I'm going to go through a couple more pages here on this website and then we'll head over to the next one. 
um, seeing there's anything else here. And also, if there's any, like, in the, like, maybe, I know, like, before I did this video, I actually said on Twitter, do you have any links for me to look at? Um, but if you want to send me links at any time, then you can go ahead and do that. Um, just tweet me. My uh, username on there is RealThomasTV1. And you can go ahead and actually just, you know, submit anything at any time, really, if you want to um, suggest ideas for the future. If it's your website, if it's not, it doesn't really matter. Just anything you want me to look at in future videos, then that'll be great. And just let me know uh, on Twitter. Or you could even just leave it as a comment as well. And I'll try to make a note of them and look back in the next video. Um, I don't really do CC shopping videos a whole lot because what I like to do, especially for like, especially the Sims resource, you know, after a while, I feel like when I go to do another CC shopping trip, I see like repeating CC that I've seen in the last one, if that makes sense. So I don't really do them that often, but, um, you know, every now and again I do. And I really like doing them because it seems like a nice sort of like relaxed video that isn't, it isn't as professional as my other ones. Um, not that my other ones, you know, are professional, <laughs> but you know what I mean? A little bit more relaxed in other words. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and look through, maybe I'll, one more page after this because I'm starting to see a couple of more things here which um, I think I've seen before so that's kind of telling me that I think we've looked at everything for now on this um, actually another thing I want to do is um, go ahead and look for some um, like other I don't know types like accessories and stuff as well because um, we're just looking for clothing here um, but that's another thing I do when it comes to CC shopping videos um, that's a good shoes when it comes to CC shopping videos I always like just look at one particular thing and then when I go into create a sim to do it like I don't have a particular like an accessory or something to add to the rest of the outfit that we've got if that makes sense so then it's kind of like a missing part of the outfit and then it doesn't look right for the thumbnails and it's just a little bit annoying so you know sometimes I will um make sure I go into these tabs at the top and look for other different categories as well um, just to make sure I have enough for everything when it comes to make the thumbnail. That took so long to explain. <laughs> Feels like I've like explained that for ages. Anyway, so we've got a couple, I don't know what I think about those actually. Those are a little bit, um, uh, I'll get them anyway. They don't really seem very high quality in terms of the texture there, but I'll go ahead and uh, download those anyway. So let's look a few, a couple more things. Um, I always feel bad when I say bad things about the CCRC because it's like, I could never do this. So like, you know, it's, <laughs> I shouldn't be saying bad stuff about people. Not that they're bad or anything. I just, you know, it's just, well, let's just move on. So um, a couple more things here. Um, this CC artist seems to be very popular on The Simpsons because I see this white background like all the time for uh, shoes and stuff. Um, so let's get a couple of things here. I believe I have these for female Sims as well, but this is the male version of it. Um, we've kind of got some Converse style stuff. Are they? No, they're not. Kind of looked like it to start with, but they're not really. Um, so this is tire print. Mm, that's kind of a bit different. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, get those um i've got those ones which i use quite a lot actually um do they have hang on let's see do they i don't mm, i don't really remember having the black ones which is something that i've tried in the past i like using boots and stuff on my male sims in terms of like creating some videos but they never really have the right color swatches it's always like browns and stuff and it never really properly matches with the other ones like the other colors in the outfit which is a little bit irritating sometimes um so i'm gonna go through on this is gonna be the last page for shoes i'm gonna go ahead and look for some accessories if there is any probably won't be that any you know good ones or anything ones that I'm going to fancy because that always happens when it comes to me looking for accessories. Um, I don't know why, it just <laughs> does. Um, we can maybe look some, for some skin tones as well because I'm starting to use the same ones over and over again. I think for female sims I use the honey skin one, I think it is, um, which is an alpha one, but I use it quite a lot. Um, you may recognise in my CC shopping videos, um, sorry, in my creator sims in the past, uh, like my themed ones and stuff, I use that quite a lot um, if I'm using alpha CC. So I feel like I need to look for some new ones here. Um, this is just showing us uh, female ones. I don't know if I can... Oh, I can't, like... I don't know. Let's just search male and see if that will work. It's probably not going to, you know, give us everything. But um, there isn't really a, 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 a filter for male stuff. Um, so if I've seen anything there... I don't really see anything that much. Um, I don't really have accessories on my male sims a lot, actually. It's probably just watches and uh, stuff like that I use, um, which could actually search for right now, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, search for some watches in a second. There is one here. Looks pretty good, actually. Big, oh my god, I can't speak. Big, but um, that's okay. Um, got this one in my game already, actually. Um, anything else I'm seeing here? Not really. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and search for a watch instead and see if I can get anything for that. Um... See if there's anything there. 
Hang on, let's see. So we've got that one that we just got from before. So there isn't really anything there. Um, I'm just going to see if there's any more categories that we should look at today before we move on to the next website. Um, can we maybe look at skin tones, actually? That might be a good idea. So um, nothing for, you know, like divider there for... Oh, I keep saying divider. I mean filter for male sims, but that's okay. Um, so if there's anything else, um, not really. Hang on, let's see if I see anything. A lot of the things I think I've seen before, so... I guess I could get this one. Um, is that the honey skin? No, it's a hydra skin. That one looks okay. Um, when it comes to alpha um, skin tones, I don't really use them a whole lot like I was saying before. It's normally when it's themed videos I use them. Um, but when it comes to kind of like my own gameplay, I never really use uh, skins. Um, that's also another thing is with eyes as well. I don't really use a whole lot of CC eyes. I had the quartz eyes for a very long time and that's my all-time favourite um, set of CC default eyes. But uh, for some reason... I put another default you know one in my game by accident and then um since then i haven't been able and i deleted it and for since then i haven't been able to find the quartz ones back so which is a little bit irritating because that was my favorite ones and the website where they're from the person has deleted it so i can't even download it anymore which is really really frustrating so that was my favorite all-time eyes and now i don't have them so what i'd normally do a lot of the time now is actually um just use the default eyes a lot of people are shocked when i tell them that i use the default ones but to be honest i don't really find anything wrong with them i think that you know they're pretty nice um there is one pair of alpha eyes i use quite a lot um i think like if i'm using like well, if you see in my, if you go back in my previous thumbnails, uh, well, thumbnails from my previous videos, you'll see that a lot of the um, things that have the same CC eyes, and that's kind of like the only ones in terms of alpha that I use that a not a default one, an overlay, um, but I use them quite a lot. Anyway, so we're going to move on to uh, Mira Simmer's website now and just scroll through. Um, it doesn't look like it's just going to have any mail stuff, which is you know fine. I just want to have a quick look to see if there's anything, and. Um, see if I'm seeing anything here. So there is the one, is this um, hairstyles? Not really too sure about hairstyles today. I'm not really like, that's not my main focus for today really because I feel like I have quite a few um, male hairstyles. It's normally like, well, mostly clothes that I'm looking for today. Um, so I'm going to look through maybe one or two more pages and see if I see anything. Doesn't really look like it. Um, got some blood splatters there. <laughs> Might be useful for my Halloween um, videos because um, last year I actually did a Halloween like week on my channel where it's like dedicated to Halloween themed videos. Um, I did a CC shopping video. I did um, a couple of collabs. I did a um, machinima as well which I think I'm going to make an annual thing of like a, um, a Halloween machinima every year on the 31st of October. I think it'll be a really nice idea because my last one was really well received and I planned it for quite a long time as well. So I feel like that might be a nice thing to do. Um, so there isn't anything on Mila's uh, website in terms of meal CC I've seen here. So I'm going to move on from that, but we will come back in the next video or so. Um, so this is another one which was a hairstyle, but I think I'm going to get it anyway since it looks kind of nice. Um, let's see if there's anything that I'm seeing there. Not really. Um, so I don't think I'm going to... I'm not really bothered about that one actually. Oh, th well... You know, I'm going to actually download everything there. No, actually, no. That, uh, I always get a little bit, like, risky in terms of that. It always... I don't know why. It just makes us, like, anxious when it, when it says, like, a, like a um, merge file. I don't know why. It just always does. Um, so, anything else that I'm seeing here? Got these shoes, which I think were just downloaded there from the Sims resource. Um, anything else that I'm seeing here? We've kind of got some. Oh, these are some like bowling recolors. Again, those kind of look a bit more alpha e kind alpha e. Is that right? not a word? But now it is. <laughs> um, and I'm not really. I, I know I was just saying before that I don't really like them, but at the same, well, that I do like them, but at the same time, I'm, if I can stay away from them, then I will. Anyway, that didn't really interest me anyway. So, um, anything else that I'm seeing here? These are some. Um, Mm. Oh, this doesn't have a link to it. Um, these are some t-shirts here, which are kind of look a little bit interesting. They are alpha, but that's okay. Um, not really seen anything there. Oh, these are some like really colourful pants, which I don't really have. So that might be interesting to get. I think these are recutters from Get to Work, I believe. Um, so let's go ahead and download those. I'm going to get it through Media Fire. Um, let's go ahead and see if there's anything else here. So we've got some boots and stuff. Some converses, which I think I have. Um... Anything else here? We've got some earrings, which I don't really have a whole lot of, so I might go ahead and download those. Um, we've got some tank tops here, which I'm not really too sure about. Um, anything else here? I think that's pretty much it for that. So I'm going to move on now to the next website, which was um, Spring 4 Sims. I keep wanting to say Spring Sims, but it's Spring 4 Sims. And I'm going to look through here. Um, so yeah, like I was saying just before there, one thing I was saying is how I plan my machinimas and stuff. Um, I, know, I don't know by the time you see this if the next episode of this is going to be up, but you may remember my... Um, my ex Simon Sims ex, um, The Life After, which is a follow-up series to her um, get-together LP. And then I'm doing... It's been a little while since the last episode, but... Um 
I am working on it. It's just the last episode, which is going to be episode four, um, is going to be very in depth, and there's going to be quite a lot going on in that episode. I don't want to ruin anything, but um, I have been planning it for probably about a month now. I'm um, doing little little bits and pieces, and I'm also working on a trailer for that video since it is the finale, and it is going to be a pretty big, eventful episode. Um, so I'm making sure that I'm spending the right amount of time on it and then I'm not kind of um, rushing it because that's what I really do want to do but I'm starting to feel a little bit pressured since it has been over a month since the last episode so um, I think I've been uploading a, if, like a episode every month even though they're only three minutes but for my when it comes to my machinimas I'm always like really like I don't know what's the right word like kind of conscious and making sure that it's like the best it can possibly be when it comes to machinimas, not even for the series, but just machinimas in general, um, I really, really focus on making the best possible thing I can possibly make. Um, so what I'm doing for this, um, the trailer at least, uh, so far, which I've been working on for the, um, the finale episode, it's only like 30 seconds, but um, I'm really making sure that I'm using a lot of different uh, effects and like um, special effects and stuff in Sony Vegas, which I don't really use a whole lot of. So I'm going to put it a good use because um, it really fits with the theme music that I've got for that video. Like I said, it's only 30 seconds and it's literally took me about four weeks already to make that trailer. But um, when you see it, it's probably like, how on earth did this take this long to make? But, you know, I'm just really making sure that I'm doing it well. So even sometimes some of my cinemas, what I'll do is I'll like think I'm finished so I'll render it I'll upload it and just put it on private and then watch it like later on when I'm like not at my computer in like a like a mindset of editing that sort of thing that makes sense and just as I'm if I'm like viewing a video later on when I'm sitting down or something um and I'll like watch it through and like make notes on like what I think's good about the video what I think's not and I'll go back and edit it again and again and again to make sure it's absolutely perfect I feel like it will go a little bit overboard when it comes to editing for my machinimas but I don't know what it is about machinimas I just have to have them like totally perfect i've noticed that quite a lot since i like you know my journey throughout youtube and stuff um oh i don't want default replacement eyes let's forget that um so hang on i'm just gonna move on to the next website then i'll continue talking um so what i've noticed is like throughout my progress here i feel like i've been coming like a lot more perfectionist like on my videos like you know when i started i'll be like oh this is good enough and i'll just upload it now like if it's not good enough i'll just won't upload it or um when it comes to machinimas i'll upload it put it on private watch through make notes and then go back and edit again I don't know why I do that, but it just, I, I don't know why, I just do. <laughs> um, anyway, so let's move on from that. So, uh, also another thing is for Machinimas, especially this Machinima series that I'm doing, um, the Get Together one, it's, um, I have like a written, like, printed plan, and I have like a checklist of like every single scene. Um, I have like a colour code and everything, I have like bold for like um, scene directions and stuff, and I have like really, really planned out to make sure it's absolutely perfect and have it like exactly how I envisioned. I have music, which I edit myself, and, um, you know, take parts out and add effects on and stuff in a music editing program that I use, um, uh, which is down here, actually, this one right here, Mixcraft 7, can't speak, Mixcraft 7, um, I think that's what it's called, anyway, and, um, yeah, so just really make sure when it comes to machinimas, they're absolutely perfect. Anyway, I've been talking for that for way too long now, um, so if I'm just looking through here, this website seems to be really, really good for mail stuff, which is great, because I don't really see a whole lot of mail CC websites, um, so let's go to the next one, it is in French here, but I'm understanding a little bit, I don't speak French, but I do speak German a bit. Um, I'm doing, if you're, if you're like, well, I don't know what would be equivalent to the US, but if you're in the UK, um, I'm doing German at A level, level, A level, level, <laughs> A level, a college in sixth form, um, which is kind of like, for anyone who's outside of the UK, sixth form is kind of like the two years that you go before going to university. It's classed as college or um, sixth form for us, which is basically where you get the qualifications you need called A-levels, which you need to get into your university courses. Um, I don't think I'm going to go to university, but it is something you can, you know, you can still do. Um, so yeah, I'm seeing if there's anything else here that I'm seeing. Not really. So I think that is pretty much it for today's video. And um, we've been going for about 20 minutes or so here. So um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is not go into creative sim today but what i'm going to go ahead and do is actually do a separate cc video sorry it's a creative sim video but we're going to go ahead and test everything out um, and i'll just make a creative sim video maybe not everything that we've got in this um cc shopping trip since we don't have I don't have like an aspect of all the different creative sim um, options to make up a full outfit, I don't think, but I can use some of the new stuff that we've got today um, to go ahead and make another male uh, creative sim. So that is pretty much it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any other links that you'd like me to look at in the future for CC shopping videos, whether it be female, Maxis Match, male, alpha, whatever it is, just let me know. 
um, either on Twitter, my username there is RealThomasTV1, on the Sims Amino app, um, my username there is ThomasTV, in the comments section, anything, and um, then you can just let me know and I'll make a note of them for the next video. So, thanks for watching, make sure you leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you all next time. Bye! <laughs>